so that's my lovely little winter tree um, which I worked on from this it was um, disc 5 of watercolor secrets and I think that's right because I have volume 2 there that I'm working on this is James's fabulous waffle dinner it's a rye and almond flour mix um, of waffle and pear strawberries and uh, raspberries on the top with some um, walnuts from with Turkish honey so we'll see how that is and so that's the what I'm working on. It looks off like of. a triple decker but it's only a double decker. It's only a double decker I just put a lot of fruit Pretty in there. Fantastic. So this is Who Killed Maggie Moores and Mirror Lake and both of these all of these things that I'm reviewing today are worth going through. How often does that happen? So Unfortunately, my lovely little winter tree does not look so lovely, really. It's uh, it, <laughs> it looks pretty amateurish. I I didn't manage to get get things very. Oh, I got a hair on there. That's one thing. I didn't get things really right, and I was trying really hard. But that's the first first one that I first lesson that I'm trying in this. So this is yeah DVD five trees and foliage, and this is the first lesson from trees and foliage. And um, and it's supposed to be moss covered. That's the yellow tones on there. And um, I was like, well, that doesn't look very mossy. So then I ended up putting a little bit of green, but that didn't help either. Uh, the one part that I, like he had um, to try to, see the thing is he's a lot faster. I was um, pausing so I could do the stuff. And then, um, then he'd say, say later on like I got finished doing all this stuff and then um, all the tree branches and then then he said well the paint's still wet you <laughs> and I'm like well my paint is not wet so anyway uh, so I was trying to lift color to get the you know to get it looking like there was light shining on it and it didn't really work out and I tried and tried and I'm like okay I'll try again another time but this is how it's gonna be for now and Another part I had a lot of trouble with was um, the back, back stroking of trying to make it look like tiny little um, tips of branches the, with the ochre. Um, and then I thought, okay, well maybe if I mix a little purple in too, it won't, and it just didn't, no, it, um, it wasn't working out very well for me, but his looked awesome. And uh, Not a if I of this stuff. well, there's little pictures on the back there. Yeah, he's um, he's very good at what he does. Uh, another thing I that kind of threw me this morning while I was doing it is he's left-handed, right? So I'm watching and I'm like, it seems backwards to me, and I can kind of relate to what um, left-handed people go through watching right-handed people. So that that kind of threw me a little bit, but honestly, it's just. I guess it'll just be practice, 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 and eventually, um, eventually I'll get it right. So, I don't know, I left a lot of room down here so I can put things happening in, the, in this picture, and this picture won't be wasted, it's just the tree will certainly not be the focal point, right, because it, it didn't work very well. But, I'm, I mean, you gotta start somewhere, you gotta keep trying and eventually get it right, so. Yeah, I didn't get the, the light on the branches and everything like I would have liked, but whatever. So it was tough for me to decide which to put on top of the stack because these were both great. Um, this one has Tina Fey in it. And it's, it says at the beginning, some of this actually happened or something. Wow. Even if just some of it happened, that's amazing. What a story. So, yeah, it was just wild. And things happen that you don't expect to happen. Like people who are main characters all of a sudden getting shot or something, and you're like, oh, wow, what? Like that doesn't happen in movies, right? It happens, happens in, in real, real life. life. And so you get that feeling. Although there's a lot of comedy and there's a lot of um, 
um, things that seem a little bit like, wow, this could, but I guess they always say truth is stranger than fiction. But yeah, great acting, uh, great story, not really a, a mystery. I mean, you know what happened. I mean, it says who killed Maggie Morris, but you know, you know that if you're watching um, the police chief trying to figure it out. And luckily he's had a lot of help from citizens. Or I don't think he would have. It's, uh, but he's, but who knows? The whole time, like his deputy is like, oh well, you've got. Looks like this that been, and he's like, oh, there's loose ends that need tying up. You know, this doesn't, this doesn't fit. Like, and he's right. And when he says it, you're like, yeah, totally doesn't fit. You're like you're uh, pulled. The story is written so well that you're almost pulled along, thinking. Oh yeah, yeah. This like with the the actual criminals' thought patterns into oh this will this will work so that I'll get away with this or whatever, right? Uh, and so you're almost pulled along with that, thinking yeah that looks plausible, and then you're like oh yeah 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 that doesn't work at all. That's a, there's this loose end here, and so luckily you have this um, police chief who's who figures it out. He unravels all the loose loose threads and and he figures out the mystery um, so it's a great one really worth watching and this one I, I think in French it would be mystery lake or whatever I think it would be called right but it says mirror lake in English and honestly I like mystery lake more um, and this was a Canadian production. Is it French? It's French it is, original. yeah. I I like a lot of stuff that comes, a lot of art that comes out of Quebec is good, mm -hmm. good art. Um, and so, anyway, this looks like it's a, a, something that comes out of Quebec. You get the beautiful Quebec scenery with the, the color and the leaves, you know, so it's probably just a little bit earlier or maybe around now, probably a little earlier than this time of year. But um, beautiful, you know, you have this beautiful woods and lake scenery and stuff in the movie. So there's that. And then there's all of this scary stuff happening, too, with scary people around and, and mystery. And, and uh, oh, I should say that it's subtitles. There's like a lot of true Canadian, the way Canadians speak when they're French, it's a mixture. So French. there's French and then English and then French. That's how they speak. They speak here so and uh how they know she's yeah it was interesting when i was a little kid you know because my french side of family we'd go over around like after christmas or whatever for the holidays and and then um everybody would be speaking french and then a little bit of english mixed in then a little bit of french and then english and then you know it was just a big mixture right uh but not enough that i could follow what people were talking about so yeah. anyway um, but, um, yeah, so this story is, is like that. It's mostly like in Quebec, I imagine, since Quebec is not bilingual, whereas, um, uh, northern rural Alberta, at least on the books is. So, um, but there's more people speaking French than English. They don't mix in the English that much, but anyway. You get some of it here, which is authentic to, to me, to my ears, to what I know of French Canadians, right? So um, then there's this puzzle that he's working on in the cabin. So the main character, he's a young man and he's, you don't know really what his story is exactly. That's a bit of a mystery, but um, you know enough of it and uh, that she get a feel for who he is. But he, there's this puzzle that's left in the cabin that he is staying in and it's, it's a bit of a mystery in, its, in itself. So the puzzle is, it adds this surrealism to the movie that makes it even that much more artful. Um, as you realize along the way that like at first, you think, well, he's just putting the pieces together, and it, and the 
picture is unraveling as he's going, but then he gets a, a brain injury, you'll see, and things get even more interesting. But, um, so honestly, I had a hard time deciding which one do I put on top, because they're both good. This one doesn't have humor, but it's an, it's certainly more artful than this one is. What do I do? How do I place them? Do I give them both top of the stack? They, there's good acting in both of these. I believe these characters. And these ones, it's comical sort of characters, so it makes the real life stuff seem, like this seems, uh, I'm, I imagine this is totally fictional, but the characters, they, I believe them. It seems like a real thing, aside from the surrealistic, artistic aspects of it. And this one, the characters are acting so well to make it seem a little less real, even though it's a real story and it's it's a freaky story, right? You don't want this to seem that real. You want to have some sort of comedy to pull you back and say, it's okay. You know, you don't have to worry about this happening in your world because you have Tina Fey playing this or whatever, right? So both are top of the stack in their own right. Um, and we'll see where this goes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, so far, my my lovely little winter tree. It's not so. It's uh, I I could have done this when I was ten, and it wouldn't have looked any worse. So I. When you start off from anything, you got to start yeah. back like a ten year old. I know. So how's your so, waffle well, dinner today? Oh, it's awesome. Today? Good. It's going to be several meals. So. Well, it's a lot of fruit. It's a lot of fruit. You have anything to talk about today? Mm. No, really. I just oh. want to. You just want to eat your food. Like okay. Well, that's it. Yeah.